Hello, welcome to Tai Chi Exercises with Rosalind. Today I've got a special video for you. This is almost the finish of the fourth season of the Tai Chi Exercises videos. I've done about nearly 40 videos, so I thought we'd have a special one to celebrate how much you have learned about Tai Chi by watching these videos and doing the exercises. And today I'm going to give you a real treat. I'm going to show you how to do the first two moves of the Tai Chi 37 move short form. Do join me at the end of the video when I'll be doing the first section of the short form in the beautiful Lake District on Sale Fell. Now my goal today isn't to teach you the whole of the short form. That, if you want to learn that, you, I'll put details of how to find out about classes and also I'll put a website down from Luke Shepard who has a very excellent online Tai Chi course called I Chi. But that's not my goal. My goal isn't to teach you the short form. It's just to break Tai Chi down into small parts so that you and teach you about the principles so you can do some of the, you don't actually have to learn the whole of the form, you can just do some of the moves and if you put the principles in, you are doing Tai Chi. But for those that want to, please do go ahead and learn the Tai Chi form. I just wanted to make sure that this Tai Chi exercise was suitable for everybody. Maybe those people that can't stand and do the form, they can practice the principles and do them in sitting. So you'll notice I've got my props around me. Now I want some audience participation today, but I don't need you to label the props. I've put the props there to remind you how much we've learnt. In the first season, for example, we were talking about posture in Tai Chi and how the crown is suspended and the spine hangs like a string of pearls. So if you have a look at the props, see what you can remember. I'll try not to tell you them all. We have the candle and that one I used to talk about the breath in Tai Chi being natural. And more recently we've been looking at how the centre moves first, that point just below the belly button, one and a half inches below, one and a half inches inside. And we've also looked at using the idea of visualisation of having a crystal bowl in the pelvis, chest and head when we move, keeping looking at alignment. And I'll make a list of these principles and some of the things we've learnt below. So if you keep a list now and then check with that list at the bottom of the video, you can see how much you've learned. And at the end of the video, after you've practiced these first two moves from the Tai Chi form, I've got a certificate to give you. Now we don't normally, we don't give out certificates in Tai Chi. It's not like karate or judo, we don't give out coloured belts. But I just thought it would be nice, I want to celebrate the learning and the fact that you've come so far. And we'll look at the moves again in a future video and you can see again how much more there is to learn because, and I have to have another prop, don't I? Ros loves her props. So I've got an onion here. And in Tai Chi, the joy is, it's learning continuously. So Tai Chi is like, learning a Tai Chi is like an onion. You learn something, then you peel a layer off, you learn a bit more, you peel another layer and another layer. There's always something to learn. It's an ongoing process. That's why we don't tend to give out certificates because, you know, it's, we've not got to the end. We're on this journey that keeps going. So, okay. So if you're ready, let's look at this first two moves of the Tai Chi form. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I'll give a brief demonstration. Make sure if your balance is not that good, that you have a chair beside you for support and just very softly touch. Try not to grip because remember Tai Chi is about having relaxation and moving as efficiently as we can. 
if you can't manage to do it in standing, you can do it in sitting. It's a bit more difficult because the pelvis is fixed, so we can't move the pelvis. And, but you can still do it, but it's just more leg movement rather than moving from the center. What we're going to do is start with our feet at 90 degrees, and then we're going to actually take our full weight in one leg, step out, and move over into that leg, realign, and then do the raising the arms or the waterfall move. So I'm going to break it down into parts. So the first one is we're going to stand with our heels at 90 degrees, our feet, heels touching our feet at 90 degrees, and everything but the little finger touches. The crown is suspended, so all those principles we've looked at, the alignment, the posture, the breath, the fact that we want to be as relaxed as we can, we're not competing, we're just going to feel into the body and enjoy the movement. And then we're going to sink into the right leg. We're going to turn our center. Remember, we've just learned about opening and closing the quads, pivoting on the ball of the left leg, we're going to slide the leg out shoulder width apart with the outside edge parallel and then we're going to melt into that left leg turning a bit further to the right and we're going to turn back to the center pivoting on the heel of the right foot placing the foot down outside edge parallel and now the hands turn as the shoulders are relaxed, the hands face backwards and the thumbs touch the thighs. Everything's relaxed. And then we just float up, hands come up and melt down back to the starting position. Wonderful. Let's try it again. You need to practice this a few times until it becomes really automatic. Just like driving a car, we spend a lot of time learning and a lot of effort and tension, trying really hard, and after a while the body learns the movements and it becomes really easy and we can drive quite automatically. And when we reach that stage in Tai Chi, we feel into the body, we try and release more, we feel the movement, so that's where we go deeper and deeper into the movement. So you can do the same movement, you don't need lots of movements, you can do the same movement and keep working on that movement to refine it and refine the quality of movement that you've got. So starting again with your heels together, feet at 90 degrees, everything but your little finger touching, the crown is suspended, breathing in, we're going to breathe in to come up, Melt into the right leg, the ankle, the knee, the hip, the lower body, the lower back opens. Turn towards the right, pivoting on the ball of your left leg. Balance, take all the weight in that leg. It's really good preparation for balance work. Step out a shoulder width with the left leg, the outside edge parallel. Moving the center over, sinking a bit more into that your left leg, turn back towards the front, pivoting on the heel of the right, the outside edge parallel, and allow the wrists, the shoulders to relax and the palms to face back. Breathing in, lower body, and relax, down, ankle, knee, hip, lower body, upper body open, the lower back. Fantastic, well done. And I'll do it again, this time without talking. See if you can follow. Wonderful. 
So I'm going to leave you with that bit of homework, checking up, seeing what you can remember from all the videos and we've been talking about and all the principles. And do join me on Sail Fell and have a practice of those first two moves. Well done, we've really done a great job. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed doing the first two moves of the Yang style 37 move short form on Sail Fell and also watching me finish the first section of the short form. If you like the video please press the thumbs up button. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos please leave them below. Do look below for details of my website and the courses that I teach to allied health professionals across the UK. And in this video, I'm going to leave below website details where you can find classes if you'd like to learn the whole of the short form and also a website link to Luke Shepard's excellent online I Chi course where he talks not only about the external choreography but the internal aspects of Tai Chi. Luke's in the same system as I am, Master Huang Sen Sien's training system. Please subscribe to my channel, that big red button, and beside that is a bell, and that will give you notification when I'm posting up a new video. I hope to see you again very soon. Happy Tai Chi.